our work streams part of the uh, AFRI project looked at the role of international donors in their efforts to support or enable empowerment and accountability in very difficult settings and fragile conflict or, or, or violence settings, which could be regions of countries, not necessarily entire countries. And the first uh, challenge was to get a better sense of how the role of donors is do documented and analyzed. That turns out to be easier said than done because these are often big projects that are doing lots of different things. And we looked at uh, donor projects in Nigeria, Pakistan, and Mozambique. And probably the biggest takeaway, uh, aside from the specifics involved in, in each of these projects, is that we offer a way of seeing, a way that, that analysts and practitioners can think about how to go about answering the question. Uh, we don't claim to have you know, sort of big one size fits all answers, but the way of seeing that we offer, we're calling the interaction effect lens. And interaction effects lets you look at how the different moving parts in a big project and the relationship between what goes on in one project and what's going on in the broader context that that helps you understand how the different moving parts fit together and uh, this is a big issue because what often happens in large donor projects is there are mixed results what does mixed results mean it means that different things are going on at different times and places there might be breakthroughs over here and bottlenecks over there and how do you go about taking stock of uh, a project that's that's supporting citizen action and empowerment in some parts of what it's doing, but also ends up reinforcing the status quo and, uh, and exclusionary institutions and practices in some other part of the same project. We found this in uh, some of the World Bank projects we looked at. Uh, but then we also were looking at interaction effects across different donor projects. The usual way that the donor projects get studies is that, studied is that they're looked at on their own. The, uh, the imperative of an evaluator is to evaluate a project, not necessarily how that project is connecting intentionally or not with the other moving parts uh, in the system. And so uh, one of the most interesting findings is that we found three different scenarios uh, in terms of interaction effects between different donor projects. And we, we looked at this by uh, examining donor projects in the same country that were trying to do similar things in overlapping territories. So in the, in the same provinces, for example, they were trying to support governance reform. And these could be uh, two different projects from the same donor, as in the case of UK aid, or comparing World Bank projects and UK aid projects in the same states in Nigeria, for example. And we found three basic scenarios. The, the interaction effect lens produces three different scenarios. And these three different scenarios uh, are uh, synergy, parallel play, and disconnects. So what's synergy? Synergy happens when two different aid programs that are sh overlapping in the shared issue area in the same territory, let's say a province, when they are mutually reinforcing. This is what one would hope to see. Uh, but Many different, different donors that are active in the same space often talk about harmonization or coordination, and that's fine on paper uh, 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 at the project design stage, but we're looking at what was actually happening in practice, and that often involved kinds of synergy that may or may not have been planned, may or may not have been part of the original design. And then we found another scenario that we call parallel play, where the two overlapping donor programs were unfolding in the same issue space, in the same territory, but didn't connect with each other. They did not produce synergy. And this is really a kind of missed opportunity because in, that, in the scenario of parallel play, the whole is not greater than the sum of the parts. And then the third scenario that we found was disconnect. And disconnect were cases where there were interactions in the rollout and the implementation of aid programs uh, possibly unintentionally, where the actions of one donor ended up undermining the actions of another. For example, there was one case, one, one state in Nigeria, where one donor had been plugging away earnestly for a very long time, building up the capacity of civil society actors and government reformers to 
try to move uh, governance reform forward, to try to find partnerships and collaboration, a very a gradual painstaking process. And then another donor comes in from the outside, from above, and creates a few benchmarks that try to incentivize some uh, quick, apparently quick reforms, changing in laws that have the the unintended outcome of undermining a lot of the long-term painstaking, much more context-sensitive kind of work. So just to sum up, the, the interaction effect lens allows one to account for what might be otherwise mysterious mixed results by laying out these three different scenarios, these three different ways of looking at uh, the, the mixed results. The first scenario is synergy. The second scenario is parallel play. And the third scenario involves disconnects.